Good morning. Good morning. It's 10.30. I just did an Instacart order because it was an easy order. It was 15 bucks. Um, it was two turkeys, two things of creamer, bread, lunch, meat, and milk. So it was, it was easy. I did walk out to a big box on my steps though. So I will get that when I get home. I know what it is. Very excited for it. I feel like garbage. So yesterday how I was all like, oh, I feel great, blah, blah, blah. Last night, it felt like somebody was using my bladder as a squeeze toy. Like all night, it just felt like it was going like this. And it was really only when I laid down. And right now I'm crampy, which could be because of the flagell. Um, and I still kind of feel like I have to pee. It's a really weird situation. I just really want it to just be rectified. I just want to be, I'm done. It's been two weeks. It has been, actually, it's been longer than two weeks. It's been three. Because it had the UTI and then it went into this. I'm done. Like, I would just like to feel like a normal human being. I haven't eaten anything, drank anything. I'm trying to stay away from caffeine today, see if that helps the bladder. I really need to like do stuff today. I gotta clean out the guest room because the kid will be here on Friday and that's where he sleeps because his bed sucks. So I gotta do that either today or tomorrow. And yeah, I will see you guys when I get home to open up the big box. So I got this Thrive Beef Jerky in the mail. This was an Instagram giveaway. They have um, sea salt beef jerky, sweet and spicy, I can't talk today, sweet and spicy pork, original, and then original beef so it's original turkey and original beef there's no sugar it's all like keto friendly so um i think there's stevia in it and the whole bag is the entire serving i also got this big box which is from flex pro meals i'm going to open it get all the meals out and show you what they sent me Woo! all right so flex pro reached out to me and asked me if they could send me some stuff and i said heck yeah I have no idea what's in here, so let's let's go through. So we have fat trimmer. We have meatballs. Ten carbs. That seems very high in carbs for being a keto meal replacement. Or is that one? I don't know. I have to look into this. That doesn't seem... That seems a lot. So we got broccoli. But these are all keto meatballs. Okay. Did the other one have broccoli in it? Was it just the way that it was like? Okay. So yeah. So 10 gram net carbs for the meatballs. They sent me a lot of meatballs. And then we have keto chicken parm. Which is 15 gram net carbs. A keto breakfast burger, which is five. Another breakfast burger. Another breakfast burger. Breakfast burger. Burger. Keto chicken parm. So it looks like they sent me keto chicken parm, beef burgers, and the broccoli. Oh, this is a mystery. Oh, my guess would be it's more chicken parm because the sticker was just there. So neat, I'm gonna put these in my freezer. All right, so I am going to try the sweet and spicy pork jerky. Looks okay. Oh yeah. That's delicious. I'm not mad at that. Okay, so I decided to have the breakfast burger from Flex Pro Meals. I'm so far not, like I, I, there's nothing that's like screaming out, this is the best thing ever for me. Um, there's zero instructions on how to cook them. I'm in the middle of talking to a, a, they claim a live person. There's no way that I'm talking to a live person on their chat. Because I was like, how long do I have to cook this for? Oh, you don't have to cook. They're flash frozen. You just heat and eat. Great, how long do I heat it for? It claims that you're supposed to like let them thaw for 24 hours and then heat them up for a minute and a half. I just put this on the breakfast setting in my microwave. 
I'm also wondering why if they're keto approved, they're between like 15 and 25 gram net carbs. This is five. So I'm going to eat it. But like, I'm not spending 15 grams of carbs on chicken parm when I can make it for like four. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. So let's try this. Okay. So the sausage does not have a good consistency. It smells kind of dog foodish. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's not bad. I don't know. I don't think I would order these. So far, the breakfast burger, not impressive. I'm laying down because I just, I feel a little bit better. Um, I'm probably gonna go upstairs and try to attack the guest room, but I'm watching Dollface on Hulu. Watch it, it's super cute. If you guys can get over the whole like, oh my God, I don't know, like millennial crap, you can get through this, it's really cute. Um, I want baked ziti so bad, you guys. Like I'm borderline going to order low carb pasta so I can make it for like make it for my dinner one night. I need baked CD. I want my mom's baked CD. Do you think if I paid for shipping she'd send it? <laughs> I feel like I look ridiculous. Eggnog keto chow. Mm. And I have cinnamon and clove burning. This little area is like so farmhouse chic. Then I have my thankful sign. Mm. Hi, I'm talking to Nassine about the Flex Pro Meals because she got some today as well. And she had the burger patty just like I did when she got home. And, you know, her box came the same way mine did. No instructions, nothing. Um, you know... She was talking about ingredients. She goes, they don't list all the ingredients. I'm like, um, I didn't think they did. Because my burger had what I thought was corn. And it looks like I'm crying. But there's there's definitely other ingredients. Like it says turkey patty. And then it doesn't tell you what's in the turkey patty. It just says turkey patty. So the fact that there was like spinach in it. And she found brown rice in hers or regular rice. I didn't find that in mine. Um, and then there's you know, celery, spinach, stuff like that. Also, it just says like hollandaise sauce. It doesn't say what goes into the hollandaise sauce. So keep that in mind if you want like a breakdown of every single nutritional thing in there, everything that makes up what the meal is. While I do find them that they can be convenient, um, you know, I was told to leave them fall for 24 to 48 hours before consuming. And I'm like, that doesn't really help me if like I'm running late and I don't feel like cooking dinner. So I just want to kind of like nuke it kind of like, like a lean cuisine or a hungry man dinner or whatever for keto. So, I mean, I figured it out on my own, like how long to microwave it, the burger. But at the same time, I was kind of like, well, that's kind of stupid. Like it doesn't make much sense to me. So keep that in mind. If you guys ever do want to order from flex pro meals, um, and check out their carb count. So while like the chicken parm is 15 gram net, if you're at a 20 gram net carb day, that's a high, that's a high meal. So just keep that in mind. The burger was okay. It was a sausage patty. The egg was well cooked. Um, I didn't find there to be too much hollandaise sauce on there and the cheese was okay. But I mean, it wasn't anything that I couldn't throw together in 30 seconds from ingredients I have around the house. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe uh, tomorrow night I think I'm going to be on my own for dinner. So maybe we'll do the meatballs and broccoli. We'll see.